Hi, it's Miss Danielle with the Grimshaw Municipal Library, and I'm here to tell you about our next feature creature. And again, we say thank you to our sponsor, MD135. So um, because spring is coming, we thought it would be fun to do a frog this time. So we're looking at a glass frog. And in your kit this month, you're gonna find um, a stencil of your frog and an instruction sheet of how to make your frog and some information about it. Um, and then you're also gonna find um, this piece of plastic, which is known as a shrinky dink. Yay! That's right, we're doing shrinky dinks. <laughs> We've been trying for so long to do shrinky dinks, and yes, it, frogs are because it's spring, but also because glass frogs just go with shrinky dinks. Um, you're also going to find a permanent marker in your kit, and um, you're going to find a little bag. I don't know how well you can see this. Um, I'll zoom. It's got a, um, a loop and a couple tinier loops, and this is to help you make a keychain out of your frog. So, and this is what we're going to end up making. This is what he's going to look like in the end. Um, do you want to maybe put him up against the... Oh, yeah. That's what he's going to look like. And we love him. There yeah. we go. Okay. So, a couple things about um, a glass frog is the coolest thing is you can actually see. Um, he's like transparent. Translucent, I guess is the better word. Mm -hmm. um, so, you can actually see his organs or her organs, which is kind of neat. And so on, on your information sheet, we have a little picture of what the inside of the frog looks like. Also, um, these frogs are about this size. So it's called the SVL. SVL, and that means snout to vent length. And so their snout to vent length is between three centimeters and um, 7.5 centimeters and this guy is four and a half centimeters so it's pretty close to what a frog is going to be how big he's going to be um I'm trying to think what else they can live up to 10 to 14 years which is a pretty long time they live in central and south africa and there are some places where you can acquire a glass frog as a pet and I don't know um, what the restrictions would be, but I did see that if you were going to have a glass frog as a pet, which I don't know if you can in Alberta or not, you need to make sure that you have a very vertical enclosure for them that is like a jungle. And so not a big old tank like what our bill swims in, but a something that uh, mimics the trees and kind of the rainforest the situation. Rainforest. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Um, okay. So then what you're gonna do for your craft is you're gonna take your piece of plastic and you're gonna put it over your um, stencil and you're going to trace out um, the stencil with your permanent marker. And then um, you're, so that's, that's what I did here. Okay, so I, I traced them out um, and so on your, on your template, he's just kind of, his belly has nothing in it. So you're Plate. going to use the picture that we put on the back to draw where his intestines would be. And I think this is like his gallbladder or something. I don't know. Fascinating. I don't know what it is. Yep. So, um, because we're only giving you a black Sharpie, um, if you have a red one at home, you could um, color this in red here and make this red, kind of like the picture on your instruction sheet. Um, and so for the white, because I didn't have a white marker, I used white acrylic paint. And so you would just paint in here if you wanted it to be white. It's really important to do all of that stuff before you put him in the oven. <gasps> Putting frogs in the oven. <laughs> Normally so, a very bad idea. <laughs> so once you have all that done, you're going to put him in the oven on a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet and he will shrink up. So this was the actual size of my frog when I 
drew him and then he shrunk up to this size. The other really important thing is before you put him in the oven, you just you cut him out to the shape you want. You can cut him out as a big blob or you can get really detailed in there, but it's really important that you put a hole right here with a hole punch. If and, you're going to be using him as a keychain. Yeah, and I just used a normal sized hole punch. And if you don't hole punch it before you melt it, I don't think you're gonna get a hole in it because <laughs> it's pretty hard. If you don't want to put the hole right in his head, which I get, um, you could put it like in his knee or elbow or something like that too. You just make sure that you leave enough plastic around the edges that the hole has a border. I don't if know you can see. Can. That's yep. kind of what I did. Yeah. Um, and so when my guy melted, my paint kind of bubbled, like it kind of got powdery and bubbled, and I just gave it a dust. I just dusted it off and then he turned into this. So um, when you're finished your glass frog, we would love to see him if you want to send us a picture. Um, or bring him into the library and we could take a picture of your frog on the outside of Bill's tank and it would look like Bill has many friends. Yes, that'd be very cool. So hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you next month. Bye.